Hey everyone, this is Ontario coming to you from my home office in Florida. This quick video is going to be about the tax savings uh, associated with a home-based business. Uh, I want to target everyone. I want, if you're not a home business owner, you need to listen to this anyway. If you are a home business owner, this is going to help you um, with your prospects when they ask you, um, why should I join your business if I can simply buy the product? And that's a very good question. Uh, some people don't want to build a business, but they also don't realize what I'm about to show you. So as a home business owner, um, it's your job to let them know that this is available to them. Okay, so <clears throat> home-based business owners are, they qualify for the biggest tax savings uh, in America. Okay, Congress passed passed bills to encourage home-based business owners to build home-based businesses. Uh, so we qualify for more tax breaks than any other uh, profession or business in America. So what I want you to do is if you are not a home business owner, okay, the next time you go to work, okay, this is a $20 bill, all right, the next time you go to work, roll down your window, okay, and I want you to just heave this out the window, okay? Just just heave it, all right? Because if you don't own a business, that's exactly what you're doing every single day, all right? You're throwing 20 bucks out the window that you should be able to keep, and I'm going to show you why, okay? Taxes are bleeding everybody to death, everyone on this planet. So as a home business owner, we get to smack Uncle Sam right in the wallet, right back. We get to, we get to pay, it's payback, really. Um, we get to keep more than those who don't own a home business, okay? So the, the limits are if you own a home business, okay, you can save, first of all, I'm going to go through this one, okay? To qualify, okay, you only need to work three hours a week. Work three hours a week on your business. Um, you have to keep this decent records. Okay, there's all kinds of apps and stuff out there that can help you do that. QuickBooks, whatever. Um, and then you have to show intent. Intent to make a profit. Okay, those are the three things you have to do. Now, <clears throat> do you think you qualify? I'd say you do. I mean, that's easy. Easy peasy. Three hours a week could be going out to lunch and introducing your business, talking about your business with some, some friends of yours. Um, keep decent records. Every time you fill up your car with gas, got an envelope, put your put your fuel fuel uh, slip in there. Uh, inviting people over for dinner, talk about business. You know, go out and buy yourself some shrimp and some wine and everything else. Throw that in your, in your bucket of uh, receipts, okay? These are all the things you can write off. In addition to, and, and I'm not a CPA or a, or a tax or anything so and that's a good thing <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to check with your your uh, tax preparer to make sure you know ask him exactly what you qualify for I mean I qualified I write off a room in my house cell phone charges gasoline uh, part of my property taxes uh, it's endless uh, supplies at the office store uh, internet charges, a lot of things. So there's a list of things that you can write off. Okay, so we've got this. You qualify um, no less than three thousand dollars a year, no less than three thousand dollars per year, and no greater than six thousand. Okay, so if you can save up to six thousand dollars a year in taxes, guess what happens? You just gave yourself Okay, you just gave yourself a five hundred dollar a month pay raise. Okay? You just gave yourself a five hundred dollar a month pay raise by working three hours a week, okay? Three hours a week, five hundred dollars. I'd say that's pretty good. So most people think that they're, you know, 
uh, taxes, you know, they think that um, maybe their health care is the uh, the highest thing in their in, in their household, the biggest payment. Their mortgage is the biggest payment. Um, so let me just show you real quick what's really um, okay. People think it's their mortgage, health care costs, uh, groceries and meals. Groceries and meals, transportation. We all know the price of gas is on the rise again. Okay, people think that oh, my mortgage is the highest expense I have, uh, or my health care costs. Of course, they are crazy, but the fact is, and I can back this up with what I'm going to show you. I, I'm going to put a link down, and you can see this on uh, Dr. Ron Mueller's site. He's the utmost professional on home business tax savings. Um, all of this combined does not equal what you pay in taxes every year, okay? Taxes are the big... You pay more taxes than you do all of this combined. And that's a fact. Okay? That is a fact. Taxes are bleeding you to death. So if you can skim some of those taxes off by working three hours a week and being able to write off everything, you can save up to $6,000 a year. Why wouldn't you want to do it? Okay? And if you're looking at building a business and you're saying, ah, I don't want to, really, you know, not only are you saving this, but if you join the business, guess what happens then? You also have another stream of income you can bank on, all right? It may take a few months for you to get the rhythm going, but when you have that residual income coming in, residual income is passive income, leveraged income. You get paid whether you work or not. You have that additional stream of income coming in, which could potentially lead to you quitting your, perhaps you don't like your job, okay? Could help you get out of the rat race, and potentially help you leave that job that you despise, uh, not to mention, you can pass this information along to other people that will help you grow your business and um, everybody ends up winning. So I hope this helped you and if you have any more questions, just send me a message. Check me out on Facebook, uh, Ontario Marketing, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye now.